All right, so to goof around with my students a little, we, uh, or I rather, gave them three words and they had to come up with a sentence for using those three words. And I tried to choose at least one word that I thought they may not be familiar with just to see what they came up with because it would make the sentences funnier. Or if they knew the definition of the word and they were a funny individual, then they would mess with it on purpose. So here we go. And if this makes its way to a parent of one of my students, I promise I actually do teach your child content. All right, so the first three words are, were dingleberry, sneaker, hedgehog. Okay, so here's some of the, my favorites. I was walking outside in my sneakers and I saw a dingleberry, which I ate mm, and I turned into a hedgehog. One time I had a pet hedgehog. He was kind of weird because he loved his dingleberries. They were his favorite food. I would take him on walks in my favorite, his favorite sneaker. Harry the hedgehog had just popped out of bed. His mom gave him a dingleberry for breakfast. He finished it quickly and scurried off with Taylor Turkey. Some dude yeeted a sneaker into the hedgehog and dingleberry and the dingleberry attacked. The hedgehog lived in a sneaker. He felt hungry, so he picked a dingleberry for his pancakes. Who doesn't love dingleberry pancakes? All right, oh, okay, so here's the next set. Preparation H, uh, Miami and snickerdoodles. Sorry, I had to find the other word in the sentence. All right, time for Preparation H. We are going to steal a snickerdoodle from Miami and then travel to Europe. I had to put Preparation H on after I ate snickerdoodle in Miami. I took a snickerdoodle and Preparation H and yeeted myself to Miami. I need to get me some snickerdoodle Preparation H before I take this penguin to Miami. A man had a stuffy nose, so he went to the store in Miami and bought some Preparation H and then enjoyed a snickerdoodle. I frosted some of my snickerdoodle cookies with Preparation H while I was in Miami. Bet you never have had a frosted snickerdoodle with Preparation H. Frosted with Preparation H. Uh, the people in Miami ate so many snickerdoodles they had to start using Preparation H. I ate a snickerdoodle and my nose got stuffy, so I needed Preparation H at the local pharmacy. I was in Miami and I found a snickerdoodle on the ground and then I needed Preparation H. I was in Miami, ate a poison snickerdoodle, and had to use Preparation H. I used Preparation H all over my sunburns after a trip to Miami, and then I enjoyed a snickerdoodle. Oh, let's see here. Okay, and then the last set of words, kleptomaniac, corn, belly button. He was such a kleptomaniac, he stole corn from the field and hid some of the little pieces in his little belly button. I am a kleptomaniac and I steal all the time, but my favorite things to steal are corn and hide it in my belly button. And when my mom finds it, I'm furious. It makes me furious, sorry. There was a man who often, often referred to as a kleptomaniac and he harvested corn with his belly button. The kleptomaniac stole the corn from the grocery store and threw it at his brother's belly button. The kleptomaniac stuffed corn into his pet's belly button. I am such a kleptomaniac. I love eating my belly button corn for breakfast. I once saw a kleptomaniac trying to butter his corn using his belly button. I eat lots of corn so my kleptomaniac belly button doesn't get too small. Oh yeah, yummy, yummy corn. I am a kleptomaniac when it comes to corn in my belly button. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Can I get through? I went into my friend's room who is an avid kleptomaniac. He has so much stuff and a, a chest full of pictures of belly buttons and corn. Is that not normal? I'm a kleptomaniac, so I stole candy corn and stuffed it into my belly button to save for later. My little brother was messing with his belly button, but found a piece of corn that he stole from me because he's such a klepto. Hope you enjoyed.